comic books. Once the hiding place for the imagination of teenage boys, now a worldwide phenomenon. just under 10 years now. Spider-Man, what's he got to do with this? Like many others at the time, I watched the Spider-Man cartoons almost religiously every Saturday morning. This is my first real exposure to the world of superheroes. The first American comic book I bought was Generation X. And it's easy to see why my 11 year old teenage self decided to pick up this specific issue. My love of superheroes has even seen me star in a short film. It's Captain Compass! And a few attempts at trying to create my own superhero. But the less said about that, the better. I want some answers! In this film, I will try and discover what is the great appeal of comic books. It's a unique form of storytelling. And how important the medium is. They make a movie on, you know, pen and piece of board. I hope to do this by interviewing the following. Oh, well, there's more of an evolution in the comics. Jeffrey Burns. I think rather than uh, suddenly see the light. Thank God we now have comics and graphic novels that we can stand over and stay. Stephen Price. Yes, this, this is high art. It's just a quick and easy way to make money. Andy Given without having to think too hard. And Glenn Fabry. She's a good one. Jeff has been reading superhero comics for nearly 30 years. I went to his home to see his collection and ask him just what the appeal of superhero comics is. So Jeff, how did you first get in the comic books? Uh, well, it was more of an evolution into comics, I think, rather than uh, suddenly see the light uh, overnight. If you can think back to getting read bedtime stories, uh, about goblins and giants. Uh, the literature at that time would have been comics like uh, Dandies, Beanos that my father would have brought. And as I got older, progressed to more uh, boyish things like uh, Victor and the Hornet with war heroes in it. Within those comics, they had uh, sporting heroes. I'm very much into sport now. And even at that early age, uh, I did have sporting heroes uh, in the comics. Wilson, who was a mystery personality, and Alf Tipper, who was a runner and both would have triumphed against the odds. That progressed then uh, on to Marvel comics and that sort of thing, the superheroes. Um, there wasn't much science fiction around in those days. Doctor Who, uh, Family Robinson on, on TV would have been the, all you would have had for escapism. Uh, cousins read other comics like uh, Marvel comics and then like I saw one of his one day and had to read and then sort of gradually then made a progression from Victor to Marvel. Uh, as I went to boarding school. So I got more comics and then eventually got hooked on the uh, US version of Marvel. There were more complex plot lines. Uh, the colors were better. We had all black and white comics and Americans had uh, color. The group, the group ones with superheroes, the appeal was uh, in Marvel, particularly the characters actually died. Uh, they, there were real issues in the, in the stories, the plot lines were more complex. What has been your favourite series and why? Uh, similar reasons uh, would have been then, uh, I started off the Avengers but then I, I went across to the X-Men. Uh, they had lots of characters, international characters from around the world to start off with. Uh, their heroes were flawed, they weren't perfect in any way. Uh, the plot, plot lines were more complex and the character lineup uh, would change and the interaction behind the characters would change. They didn't always get on well together and that was more like the real world. I should be so relevant. People need, always need heroes. Uh, when the Marvel Hero, Hero series started, it was the uh, First World War, but there's wars. I mean, Second World War. Uh, there's wars all over the world still. Uh, but. Uh, the stories, uh, Marvel's comics have kept up to date with relevant issues in the world. 
uh, characters in Marvel have had alcoholism, uh, they've beat their wives, they've been divorced. Um, uh, all of the issues are dealt with in comics. If I take, for example, the X-Men, uh, the mutant uh, ostracized by the world could be easily replaced. Over the passing of time, uh, the term mutant could be transferred to black, Catholic, uh, Jew, Muslim. Uh, so now I think still relevant in the world.